I think people have very little perception of these farms. I didn't at all. The average American is exactly like I was before I did this research. I just didn't know. And I was basically looking for the price tag. I didn't know that we feed chicken feces to cattle. I didn't know that we still feed cattle to cattle in three different ways. I didn't know that veal calves have no place on a dairy farm. Of course I didn't think about that, just like male chicks have no place on an egg farm. You will see full-grown pigs crammed by the hundreds into these pens where they can't even turn around. And they spend night and day like that. They can barely lay down. They have virtually their two or three years of life in prison in either a gestation crate where they really can't get up or move, or um, a farrowing crate when they give birth and then the piglets fall out under the cage and they can, they can still milk for a week, a week or two. We would never allow any other animal to be treated that way. Between the treatment of the animals, the confinement of the animals, the low paying jobs that are hell to work in these factories, um, the quality of the food, and um, the diseases, not to mention the antibiotics, the antibiotic resistant bacteria that can be in the food itself, the heavy metals, um, the pesticide residues that have been found in meat, um, and possibly mad cow disease. that factory farms deny animals welfare that they deserve. Animals were just meant to be out on pasture at least part of their lives or part of the day. Pasturing, rooting, foraging, mating, nursing, even competing for dominance. Giving an animal enough space <laughs> to breathe and preferably outside on grass is not only moral and humane, certainly better for The American people are um, fair-minded, smart, and humane. And if they did know, which is why industry is so desperate for them not to know, if they knew how these animals were raised, if there were pictures at the supermarket, you decide which product you want to feed your family, 